This is the story of an epic adventure. A story of cosmic curiosity, courage and perseverance. The story of how Europe went south to explore the stars. ESO is Europe's portal to the stars. Here, astronomers from 15 countries join forces to unravel the secrets of the universe. How? By building the largest telescopes on Earth, designing sensitive cameras and instruments, scrutinizing the heavens. Their work has looked at objects near and far, from comets traversing the solar system to distant galaxies at the very edge of space and time giving us fresh insights and an unprecedented view of the universe. A universe of deep mysteries and hidden secrets, and staggering beauty. But the exploration of the southern sky still took lots of courage, passion and perseverance. The telescope is of course the central tool that allows us to unravel the secrets of the universe. Telescopes collect far more light than the unaided human eye, so they reveal fainter stars and let us peer deeper into space. Like magnifying glasses, they also show finer detail. And when equipped with sensitive cameras and spectrographs, they provide us with a wealth of information about planets, stars and galaxies. The VLT is ESO's flagship facility. Four identical telescopes joining forces on top of Cerro Paranal in the north of Chile. Built in the late 1990s, they provided astronomers with the best available technologies. The VLT consists of four telescopes. Together, they can act as a virtual telescope measuring 130 meters across. Light collected by the individual telescopes is channeled through tunnels and brought together in an underground laboratory. Here, the light waves are combined using laser metrology and intricate delay lines. The net result is the light gathering power of four 8.2 meter mirrors and the eagle-eyed vision of an imaginary telescope as large as 50 tennis courts. Four auxiliary telescopes give the network more flexibility. They may appear tiny next to the four giants, yet they sport mirrors 1.8 meters across. That's bigger than the largest telescope in the world just a hundred years ago. ESO closely cooperates with industry in both Europe and Chile. Access roads had to be constructed. Mountain tops had to be levelled. The Italian industrial consortium AES built the main structure of the four VLT telescopes. The German glass company Schott produced the delicate VLT mirrors. At Riosk in France, the mirrors were polished to a precision of a millionth of a millimetre. Meanwhile, universities and research institutes across Europe developed sensitive cameras and spectrometers. And throughout the world, the European Southern Observatory contributes to exhibitions and science fairs. Countless ways to participate in the discovery of the cosmos. 
But in terms of outreach, nothing beats the universe itself. Astronomy is a visual science. Images of galaxies, star clusters and stellar nurseries fire our imagination. ALMA is a joint project of Europe, North America and East Asia. It operates like a giant zoom lens. Close together, the 66 antennas provide a wide-angle view, but spread apart, they reveal much finer detail over a smaller area of sky. At 5,000 meters above sea level, the array provides an unprecedented view of the microwave universe. But what will it reveal? The birth of the very first galaxies in the universe in the wake of the Big Bang. Cold and dusty clouds of molecular gas, the stellar nurseries where new suns and planets are born. And the chemistry of the cosmos. ALMA will track down organic molecules, the building blocks of life. While ALMA is nearly completed, ESO's next dream machine is still a few years away. See that mountain over there? That's Cerro Amazonas. Not far from Paranal, it will be home to the largest telescope in the history of mankind. Meet the European Extremely Large Telescope, the world's biggest eye on the sky. Is there life beyond Earth? What's the origin of the universe? ESO's new Monster Telescope will help in our quest to understand. We're not there yet, but it won't take long. So what's next? Well, no one knows, but ESO is ready for the adventure. <laughs>